Hello friends, I'm Shashank and along with my teammates Monish, Akshay and Shitish, we are going to solve 8 queens problem. First of all, let's see what is 8 queens problem. The 8 queens puzzle is the problem of placing 8 chess queens on an 8x8 chessboard so that no two queens attack each other. Thus, a solution requires that no two queens share the same row, column or diagonal. Problem is often generalized to n queens. Place n queens on an n by n board so that no two queens attack each other. Problem has no solution for n less than 4. Solutions can be specified as a permutation of the list of numbers 1 to n. The first element in the list is the row number of the queen in the first column. Second element in the list is the row number of the queen in the second column and so on. The problem of finding all solutions to 8 queens problem can be quite computationally expensive as there are 4,426,165,368 which is 64 combination 8 possible arrangements of 8 queens on an 8 by 8 board but only 92 solutions. It is possible to use shortcuts that reduce computational requirements that avoids brute force computational techniques. Simple explanation for obtaining the solution. Step 1. For obtaining the first solution, we go to the first row and put our first queen on the first square. Therefore, its corresponding row, column and diagonal will be under attack. Step 2. Now for the second queen, we go to the second row and check for the first square which is not under attack by the first queen and put our second queen there. Therefore, its corresponding row, column and diagonals to get under attack. Now for the other less queens, we will repeat the same step 2 and check for the correct squares for, the, for their placements which are not under attack by any other queen. And if there are no square left which are not under attack and there are some queens unplaced, then we will backtrack. Like this only, we will shuffle the position of the first queen in the first row in order to obtain all the other alternative solutions. Some solution sets. These are some solution sets. In this, you can see that none of the queen is placed in any of the square which is under attack. Like this only, we can obtain all the other alternative solutions for this problem. This puzzle have 92 distinct solutions. If solutions that differ only by the symmetry operations of rotation and reflection of the board are counted as one, the puzzle has 12 solutions. These are called fundamental solutions. Backtracking concept. Each recursive call attempts to place a queen in a specific column. For a given call, the state of the board from previous placements is known, that is, where are the other queens? Current step backtracking. If a placement within the column does not lead to a solution, the queen is removed and moved down the column. Previous step backtracking. When all rows in a column have been tried, the call terminates and backtrack to previous call in the previous column. Now let's look at prolog code for 8 queens problem. Function queen is a solution to the n queens. The function range is to generate a list from 1 to n. For example, if we call function range 1, 8, us, the us will be the list from 1 to 8 that provide the list of rows where we can place our queens. Now in select function also we have us as a parameter which is list of rows if select function is true then first element of list us is assigned to q and the remaining part of the list us will be assigned to us1 the function attack considers only diagonals because if a queen is placed in a row then this will be removed from our list so the QS only contains the row in which the queens can be placed because we just place the queen in one column each time. 
so in the same column we will never place two queens so we only need to consider the diagonals for positive diagonals we consider attack x comma n place list uh, is x is y plus n and for negative diagonals we consider attack x comma n and list of place queens x is y minus n if we have already placed queen in more than one row then we will we have to check function attack for every past row now we will trace our program first of all queen function call y as we can see in the code the queen function has two parameter first is n and second is qs n is number of queens and qs is solutions of n queen iske baad remaining function call hoga jisme first parameter 1 aur second parameter n रेंज फंक्शन हमारा वन टू एक लिस्ट जन वन टू एट एक लिस्ट जनरेट करके देगा यूजिंग बैक ट्रैकिंग एज वी कैन सी द लिस्ट हैज बीन जनरेटेड हियर वन टू एट that is basically the number of row where we can place our queen iske baad queen function call hoga jisme first parameter unplaced queen matlab jo bhi range function se hame list pass hui hai wo aur second parameter placed queens but at the initial condition placed queens is zero so this list will be empty इसके बाद सेलेक्ट फंक्शन कॉल हुआ है सेलेक्ट फंक्शन में हमने जो रेंज फंक्शन से लिस्ट जनरेट हुई है उसको पास किया है तो सेलेक्ट फंक्शन इस लिस्ट के फर्स्ट एलिमेंट को चेक फर्स्ट एलिमेंट को उठाएगा इट मीन्स वन वन को उठाएगा और यहाँ पे क्वीन प्लेस प्लेस करने की कोशिश करेगा बट उससे पहले अटैक चेक करना होगा अटैक इट मीन्स इट इज अटैक टू एनी अदर क्वीन विच इज विच इज ऑलरेडी प्लेस्ड इन द चेस बोर्ड सो एट द इनिशियल कंडीशन वी डोंट हैव एनी प्लेस्ड क्वीन सो अटैक विल बी फेल्ड एज वी कैन सी द लिस्ट इज एम सी इट मीन्स वी डोंट हैव एनी प्लेस्ड क्वीन so attack will be failed here and queen one placed at column iske baad select function two select karega list se aur column two par row two par क्वीन को प्लेस करने की कोशिश करेगा बट हियर एट द कॉलम वन रो वन क्वीन वन इज ऑलरेडी प्लेस्ड सो देयर विल बी अटैक सो क्वीन टू कैन नॉट प्लेस after that we select function select the queen 3 and it will check attack with queen 1 it is not under attack so attack function will be fail and queen 3 placed
as we can see queen 1 and 3 are played and so on as we can see this is our final answer after tracing